Oh, oh, I've left the light on. Bugger, hello. Welcome to the Hotspur Hippie. Well, I've got to turn the light off because it looks like my moon's a crap and my head's a crescent moon. Hang on, here we go. Uh, appear. <laughs> come on, you can do it. Uh, come on. There we go, it's just the head. Oh, well, welcome to the Hotspur Hippie. I'm Paul. This is the only psychedelic soccer show on the internet. Oh, I'm there. Okay, I've appeared. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I hope you've had your full of Ange goodness. We've now seen the entire press conference released in three handy and ever shorter chunks for some reason. Something to do with broadsheet newspapers, you know, all the things that toffs read. You know, and I open a tablecloth on the train or in the back of their Bentley or something like that. Um, and uh, I'll start off with that. I'll do a little bit of ramble and then I'll get on to the chat. Not a lot to talk about, but um, Ange. So a bit more Ange goodness. I'll do a bit of a video uh, later today, I think, when I go for a walk. Um, two main things he talked about in the uh, third section, uh, which was released um, about nine hours ago. Um, he talked about culture of the club. Um, because uh, the Jano asked him, you know, Harry Kane said, we've lost the culture. Well, you know, what are you going to do about that then, Ange? What are you going to do about that? Well, what are you going to do, Fleet Street meathead hack? Um, and uh, I love the way um, at one point Ange said, well, you know, my philosophy. Ah, oh, philosophy. I hate using buzzwords. That's what he said, man. He's so cool. He's so, he rejects the corporate tainted smear of the world. He's just a true person. I love him. Um, and basically he said it was about people. Um, but he said, um, you know, we're going to do it my way. Uh, and if uh, if people want to, don't want to do that, well, they can go and do something else, can't they? <laughs> very, very matter of fact. His way or the highway. All aboard the Poster Coglu, Coglu. All aboard the Poster Coglu Choo Choo. Woo woo. Destination glory for Tottenham Hotspur. You're either on the train or you're out of the platform picking bits of chewing gum off the undersides of seats for a tasty snack. That's it. That's the only two chances you've got. You can try and slow the train down, but you ain't stopping it because Ange is shoveling the coal in, shoveling the coal in. Woo, woo. We're off, man. We're off. So that was good to see. Uh, what was the other thing he talked about in that? Oh, he talked about James Madison as well. In a funny moment, he said, um, well, I wanted to get a player like James Madison, and we ended up getting James. <laughs> Talked about him, uh, his leadership qualities on the pitch. I wonder if that's a sign of things to come. Who knows? But uh, he's definitely after leaders on the pitch. So that's going to be uh, interesting interesting for Tottenham because we don't really have many. Maybe Madison might be captain. Who knows? I don't know, man. Is he captain material? What do you reckon? What do you internet nutters out there think? Do you think, do you think Madison could be a skipper? I don't know. Maybe. Ah, oh, um, that was that was about it for Ange. Let's have a look at the old Twitter feed because I was a bit struggling to wake up this morning, and uh, I thought, oh, I, I don't know if I've got a stream in me this morning. Uh, but I went through some news, and I'll get to the bit that woke me up. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I've, I've got to talk about this. So, news. Do -do -do -do. I should get a little graphic. I could do it on this as well. I should do it on this. Uh, I'll do that for tomorrow. I'll get some graphics up for different sections of the video so it looks like dead pro and sh sh shit. Um, well, unfortunately, uh, Ryan Sessignon has undergone, this is Spurs official, Ryan Sessignon has undergone surgery to the left hamstring following an injury sustained in pre-season training. Wishing you a speedy success, uh, speedy recovery, Sess. So, oh, I thought we were going to flog him. We can't sell him now. Ah, bugger. First season as well. Didn't you do anything off season? Nah, that's unfair. That's unfair. But a hamstring. Poor kid. Poor kid. That is a that's a that's a tough injury for a player to get over. So, um, despite all the bonhomie we have with uh, Ryan Sessignon, I hope he does get well soon because that is a tricky one. That. And a big news from yesterday or today, wherever you are on this ball of dirt, um, we've saw uh, Manor Solomon. 
Manuel Solomon, he's ours, he's one of our own. Will he appear? Oh, he nearly did. Let's have a look. Come on, Manuel. Ooh. See if I can surprise the camera. If I hold it there long enough, surely it's got no choice. It's got no choice. I'll just move it around slowly. Hold it still. Why doesn't it think? Why does it think my phone is the background? Look at that. Look at that, mate. Oh, there we go. I just have to hold it in front of my head, do I? Is that the thing? Oh, come on. I had it there. Whoa. Whoa. No, well, it's a picture of Manuel Solomon, anyway. So I um, I looked at a few uh, few clips of Manuel yesterday because I'm not really familiar with him, and albeit they are, you know, the compilation, so you can stick anything in that, and I might get onto that subject in a, mi a little while. Um, did look good. Did look good. I like the way he. Uh, he's a winger, but a lot of the times he, he, he cuts in, and I don't mean cuts in like in a Ben Davies, oh, God, I don't know where to go now, so I'll go this way, oh, shit, I lost the ball. No, he cuts in and skips past players. So I, I'll tell you what, him and Madison, ooh, could be a little bit tasty, you know, something like that. Could be a little bit tasty. Where are we going to play him? Where's Ange going to slot him into this jigsaw puzzle? Um wasn't familiar with the player. I did get excited by um, Amir from, uh, I think his channel is Israel Uncovered, because he's an Israeli guy, this. So uh, Amir's been following for, for quite a long old time, had his, had his eye on him, and uh, fancied him, was really excited about the signing. So, you know, I'll take that as a, as a good reference. If someone has been following someone for a while um, and they like him, that's going to be a good thing. Just like I did with Ange Postacoglu. Just like I did with Ange Postacoglu. And amongst other things, I predicted, I predicted that in his first press conference, he will win everyone over. And I also said he'd mentioned the 1981 FA Cup final, and he bloody did. So, you know, what the only predictions I've got left are good football at the moment. Good football. And we'll see what happens after that. The other one I'd say is that if Ange is with us four years, we're going to be in a title hunt and we're going to win something, you know. More than that, like, you know, I can't, yeah, no, I'm not getting any other messages. So it's exciting. I am getting, I'm excited about Manuel Solomon. That looks like a, a nice signing on a free. And it looks like uh, we're going to do some sort of a deal with Shakhtar. So there's not going to be any court case or anything like that. And I'm glad, I'm glad Spurs are doing that because it is rough on, on Shakhtar, um, them losing a player like that because of circumstances beyond their control. Uh, okay, so I've got a quote here from Ange on Madison. This is a Spurs OTM have uh, tweeted this, so I'm assuming this quote is right. I'll, I'll probably know if it isn't, because you know I did see, I did see from Ange's first press conference. I mentioned this yesterday. I did see a lot of people using quotes, or as we used to call them, speech marks, but not you know miss a couple of words out here and there and not get it quite right. And I'm thinking. Don't use speech marks. If you're going to use speech marks, put the words in. I'm looking at you, Daily Mail. And I may be looking at you a little bit, Alistair Gold, because you missed a bit off, which sets some context, you know. And then when you get onto the tweeting stage, you don't know what you're reading sometimes. But anyway, I think he's in a stage of his career where it feels like he can be a leader, which is great as well, because we need players who want to embrace that responsibility within this group, whether it's their first year or they've been here for ages. We're going to need leadership on the field, and he feels like he can be a player who, who does that. I think that's a fair quote. Sounds about right. So exciting. Very exciting. Uh, Manuel Solomon. And this is the thing that got me out of bed, because I couldn't resist. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. Just if you were on the, on the edge, should I get Spurs play or not? Well, they've... Uh, they've... <laughs> they've <clears throat> they put a little sweetener in the deal to make it very hard to resist. I, I, I somehow might. Now, we've got a lot of players at Spurs, but Spurs play, or some, some PR muppet, has decided, and the trailer is on Spurs Official on their Twitter. It's I can't believe this, man. Uh, I can't even say it. 
Eric Dyer, the movie, and I'm not shitting you. Eric Dyer, the movie. Um, so obviously, I don't think we're going to be letting him go anytime soon. He's only got a year left. You know, I sod it, you know. Um, but I watched this, and it has clips in it like... Um, Tottenham Hotspur have a new hero, Eric Dyer. <clears throat> now, the reason it got me out of bed... <clears throat> excuse me. The reason it got me out of bed, and I don't want to do any spoilers here, but I'm going to do a spoiler, is I thought it was quite funny at the end, because at the end it went all Wicker Man. It, wick, it went all Wicker Man. Maybe there is hope for this club, because this is the last shot. They set Eric Dyer on fire. They chuck, it, they chuck him on a bonfire. There he is. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Eric Dyer, the Wicker Man. I mean, he's not good as actor as Edward Woodward, or even Nicolas Cage in the really crappy remake. But it's when I saw that ending, I thought, that's it, that's it, I'm streaming, I'm streaming. There we go. The Eric Dyer story. Ah, oh, can you believe it, man? Can you believe it? I mean, ah, oh, dude. I mean, Jaffa Tanganga, what, where's his movie? He deserves a movie more than this guy. I don't know, the Soldado saga. What about that? Vinny Sideways, The Truth. But no, we've got Eric Dyer, the movie, on um, on Spurs play. Now, how much is Spurs play? How much would I have to pay for this tat in Australia? Let's have a look, see if I can find. Spurs play. Oh, I've put in Sours play, but it's corrected me. That's good, isn't it? How much is Spurs play in Australia? Let's have a look. I know I've looked at this before, but I can't remember. Do, 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 do. Uh, what, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Didn't I, I've not got the Spurs play app. Surely there's, surely it'll pop up. Surely it'll pop up straight away with give us money. Come on. I hate apps, man. I hate apps. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, okay, shop. shop and, and you just can't find it you just can't find it spurs play premium here we go oh god no it's not premium experiences it doesn't even i don't know look i tried spurs i tried to get well i mean i don't have a credit card at the moment but i tried you know i tried Pretty cool having a not having a credit card. I like it because now I I, I go in because uh, my credit card's fucked. Thanks uh, thanks to like COVID, I sort of had to spend that. Uh, but um, you go into shops and you realise people don't know how to subtract anymore. It's like a lost skill. It's a dark art subtracting one bit of money from the other. They look at me blankly and just go, uh, oh. And they're just counting really slowly. Uh, I'm not saying they're dumb or anything. It's just, you know, they don't need to do it anymore because it's just... Doot, and they go, oh. But it's good because it, leave, it means I'm not paying an extra 1% or 2% on every purchase I make. So I don't mind that. Uh, so, yeah, Eric Dyer, the movie, eh? Are you all buzzing for that? Are you all buzzing for that? Let me know in the comments, you internet nutters. Uh, let me see if I've got any other hot-breaking... Sizzling news here. Um, no, nah, well, well, that was it. Oh, God, that's that pretty quick, eh? Pretty quick. Whew. Okay, well, here we go then. Let's go over to the comments to see if there's anyone here. I always look with trepidation at this bit because if there's no comments, I've got nothing, man. I've got nothing. Oh, there's comments. Oh, there's loads of comments. Oh, you beautiful people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so I'm going to get comfy. <clears throat> Do -do -do. I'm going to get comfy. <clears throat> I'm just going to lie down and have a good old chat with you a lot and see what's happening in your world of Spurs. Hey, the comments thing is working. PC's going all right this morning. Yeah, Ryan, I forgot Ryan Sessignon. He probably went in with a sore throat. And they said, the Spurs medical department said, no, nah, it's your hamstring, Matt. 
hamstring man, hamstring man, don't worry, we'll just tap it back in a place, don't you worry sis, we'll be fine. <clears throat> Sorry man, I've got a bit of the pasta coglues this morning. Morning Paul, morning hippies, yeah man, peace out man, peace. Uh, in Ange we trust, it's getting more and more exciting man, and you know what, like, I had a, I, I, I'm not saying this to say I told you so or something like that, or oh yeah, I'm so clever. But I knew he would win loads of Spurs fans over with his very first press conference. And I'm only saying that because I've seen him do it so many times before. It's not, you know, that's I just knew it because he, he did it at Celtic. He, he did it, um, I don't know, he probably did it at Yokohama. I didn't see his press conference there. But I've seen how he performs in press conferences and I'm thinking, Spurs fans, this is what they're crying out for. They're going to bloody love this guy. They're going to bloody love him and that's it. So I'm not a genius. It's just that I, I kind of had a spoiler. I had an Ange spoiler over you lot. I'd already seen the movie and you lot hadn't seen it yet. That's all. That's why I wanted him in since March the 22nd, two days before Conte went. Hey, I'm here. Nice, man. Big up. Well, yeah, I, I don't know if you uh, saw the beginning of the stream there, Amir, but um, I was, I've was i been, uh, yesterday I was watching a few uh, uh, Manors, is it Manor or is it Manor? Manor, Manor, it's going to be Manor, isn't it? Manor, could be Manor, uh, let me know. Saw some of uh, some clips of him and I, 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 I'm concurring with you, man. I'm getting very excited about this player. He looks pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Not a bad deal. Oh, Beta, Salam Alaikum, brother. How you going? Big up, Paul. Let's get this man a thousand before Ange's first preseason game. I, I can't believe it. I looked this morning. What was it? It's like ridiculous. This is great, this YouTube. Like, even when I'm sleeping, I'm getting subscribers. It's nuts. What are we up to? 859. Wow, how about that? Soon I'll be a legitimate, legitimate monetized channel. And I can do, like, uh, super chats and shit. I won't have to sit here begging for money, even though it's kind of the same thing. Um, so I, I, just, a, just a little plug. I do have a GoFundMe in the description because I'm really struggling on a budget. I've only got, what, like, seven weeks to go before I can earn money. But it's bloody tight, man. It's bloody tight. I'm, I'm getting sick of eating beans. <laughs> I, really, I really am. Beans and noodles with a tin of tuna. It's a nice, affordable snack for you. But uh, any uh, any donations in there, tips, well appreciated, man. It'll make my life a lot easier in the next seven weeks. But I'm not depressed about it because seven weeks to go and it's only money, isn't it? But a lot of people have been very generous. It's made this period, this rough period, so much more bearable. I can't thank people enough. And rest assured, when I, when I get a million subscribers and I have my own studios, I'll be definitely passing that on. I'll be passing it on, don't you worry, man. Ben Kaufman. Is it Kaufman or Kauf Kaufman? I've got to get that right, right, man. If you could phonetically type it in, man, that'd help. The mod, the mod of choice for the internet, for the Spursosphere. I feel like I've stepped into Reverend Horton Heat. Oh, wow, man. Reverend Horton Heat. I, um, oh, man, you, all right. You, I thought you were cool, but you, I, um, I saw the Reverend Horton Heat at a, a bar called Knuckleheads in Kansas City, uh, which was a brilliant place, man. And what a gig. There were only three of them. There were only three of them on the stage. There was there was the Rev, there was a drummer, and a double bass player, a proper double bass player. Man, it was, it was rocking, absolutely rocking. And then this guy went to the crowd, who they obviously have known each other, and they have a chat with security, gets him on stage, turns out he plays the harmonica. It was so good. So yes, Reverend Horton here, if you like a bit of Psycho Billy, brilliant man, brilliant man. Oh, I'm impressed, Ben. Wow, well done, that's cool. Brought back a nice memory. Oh, oh okay, all right. Uh, yeah, he's arrived, he's in the building, he's in the house, how good's that? I'm excited, I am excited. After watching a bit yesterday, I know it's all highlight reels, but you know, it was great. Tottenham LSG. Um, Cess would have been moved on, but ah, well, we've got to pause that now. We've got to look after the lad. You know, that's I'm all for that. This is the Hotspur Hippie channel, you know. 
and uh, I'm not a communist, I'm way past that, I just want to live in a field with a, fo with a fire, but um, we've got to look after him, do the right thing by him, but uh, yeah, there we go, eh? Uh, Tottenham LSG, guess we have to pay for him for another half season, hopefully he'll be moved out on loan in January, well, yeah, we'll see how we go, man. Ben says, um, uh, Manor is a great little player, proper Ange footballer as well, he looks it, he looks it. He looks like he's got a bit of a glint in his eye and, f and fire in his belly. So, yeah, I am excited. Liverpool 12th, man. G'day, man. How are you going? I'm not a Spurs supporter. Kel surprise. And no lie, I would go to see the movie you are producing. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of which, <laughs> um... The other day, I was on uh, good old Jacob from United Spurs of America, um, like an impromptu pop-up stream. And uh, it turned into something quite special, I think, where we sort of diverging onto casting our own movie about Tottenham Hotspur, hollywood style uh, with the working title of United Spurs of America. I think the, the ending might be something like... Uh, you know, Harry Kane just wants to play American football, something like that. That's his dream. Maybe that. How about that, Jacob? Um, so we ended up casting uh, actors for uh, every role. So if you can pop over to that. I don't know if Jacob's separated it out into something else, but it'd be cool if he did, man. Uh, I don't, unless it's a pain in the ass. Um, but um, no, I won't give too many spoilers away. I'll just say that... Uh, Harry Kane will be played by Ryan Gosling, but but the rest of the uh, team threw up a few <laughs> a few surprises. <laughs> Sorry, oh man, oh no. Sorry, uh, it makes me chuckle when I think about what happened. It was not right. It was not right. It wasn't right, man, was it? <laughs> But so, uh, yeah, pop, <laughs> pop along to United Spurs of America, give him some subs and stuff. Because after all, if I overtake him in subs, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna burn him and cast him aside. I'm gonna big time him. That's how the internet works. Uh, oh, here, hey, 12th man, we made the killer movie the other night. Excellent, man. <laughs> oh, man, it's good to have a chuckle, isn't it? Um, you know, especially when you like, have no idea what I'm laughing about. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. Um, hang on, where are we? I uh, get it together. Come on, man. Come on. United Spurs of America. I have a theory. Jacob has a theory. Uh, th Sess hurt himself on purpose so he can stay longer. Yeah. Ha. Ah. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe he went to the medical department and says, ah, oh, my throat's a bit sore. And the medical department says, it's not your throat. Your humours are out of balance. We're going to give you a course of leeches and just whack that hamstring in. Let's just whack it in. The body's all connected. And he's he's under the knife. He's like, oh, shit. Shit, I wasn't banking for this. Ben says, Eric Dyer is one of the suits. Those pencil pushers are dragging us down. It's just, I mean, I, I couldn't, I mean, I could probably play the audio of the intro for a few seconds, man. Let's, uh, let's get this up. Hang on. So I just, you know, this is how they build it up, man. Hang on, let's pause that. Hang on, hang on. I could, oh, Twitter, hang on. And I've muted it, you numpty. Listen to this. The last thing I was expecting was for Eric Dyer to pop up with this sort of intro. People don't understand how many people in this world are trying to become a footballer. Never in my wildest dreams would I think that when I was eight in Portugal, this is wrong. Yeah, all right, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Oh, my Lord. People don't... People don't... People don't. People don't think it's hard. It's so hard to be a footballer. I, I think a lot of people do actually. I think a lot of people do have some idea, Eric. You idiot. It is. It is quite hard. Otherwise, we'd all be doing it, wouldn't we? We'd all be earning what you earn 
for doing nothing. You know what? I'm gonna try and find uh, find something here, just in case you ain't seen it. Uh, hang on. If I got this on that, I don't, yeah, okay. Hang on. Bear with me a second. This is something I did for the Irish Hotspur a while ago. I might as well play it. I'm sure he won't DMCA me because it's it's me. <laughs> Uh, it's an oldie but a goodie. It's an oldie but a goodie. Michael. Michael. Here we go. Let's uh, do that. Can I do that? You'll get the gist of it. Here we go. Here we go. Football fans, I'm England international and Tottenham Hotspur central defender Eric Dyer and today I'm going to show you the art of defending. I'm going to show you three basic techniques that will ensure that your team has a great chance of not letting in that many goals. First we're going to look at, and you'll notice as I'm training here, I'm not going to use a football because remember there's more to football than a football. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is a little, little secret I've got called drawing the shot. Now Tottenham Hotspur, we've had the best keepers in the world. We've had Pat Jennings, Ray Clemens, Bobby Mills. And what you want to do is you want to build up your keepers' uh, confidence by giving them a few early touches in the game. So when a, I'll show you this in a second, when an attack is coming towards you, what you want to do is you want to entice them into a position where they can get a shot off which will allow your keeper to save it and just get some get some runs on the board. Now you'll notice my form here. I've got my arms up behind my back. Remember, it's called football. We don't use our arms. And what you're going to try and do is maybe go side on, side on, because you want the attacker to either go to the left with his with his right foot or to the right with his left foot. Remember, draw the shot. So let's have a look. Go and then strike the first. So, I didn't get that quite right, sorry. So you come in, you go backwards, you edge your way, you edge your way, and strike a pose. It's very simple, it's that simple. The second technique I'm going to uh, show you is all about leadership. It's called marshalling the defence. So, this is the thing that's on Spurs play, by the way. This is the Eric Dyer story. Now, we want to get a bit more uh, tricky with this. What I want to do is I want to organise the other players. So, let's drop it down. Tips, and, you and you can be as good a defender as me. Come on, you Spurs, Spurs I, think. I think. There we go. Might as well recycle. It's like, it's like an episode of Happy Days when they've run out of budget and they just put old clips on. Remember the time Fonzie went... <laughs> but yeah, so that, 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 that's the, that is actually the, the uh, Eric Dyer thing that you can get on Spurs play. Hang on, what am I doing sitting up? I was getting all relaxed. All right, let's go back to the... Uh, Let's go back to the internet and other squad here. Here we go. What's happening here? Um, uh, Jacob says, Colombian Booga Shuka. <laughs> I love the way Americans call a bogey a booga. I think that's the only country that calls it a booga. But I get what you're saying. Colombian Booga Shuga. Or Booga Sugar. Sorry, not Booga. Booga Sugar. A Sanchez story, yes. I like uh, what Expressions calls him. He calls him, um, the, what is it? He calls him the Colombian PS2 Idris Elba. I think that's right. He just looks like Idris Elba on PS2. <clears throat> oh, whales of a good time. Joe Rodon, yeah, there we go, man. Oh, we're coming out with puns. Let's have puns coming out. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Well, there we go. There's a blast from the past of a movie. Jacob, you'll like that one. Paul, I have a question. Certainly, man. Chuck it at me. Chamu. Oh, job interview at 10. 
Ensign Solomon. You have a you have a job interview, do you? Oh, well, oh well, good luck, man. Good luck. Not long to go. I hope you I hope you uh, I hope you like them as much as they like you, or if you know what I mean. I hope it goes well for you. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Oh, did I have an echo when I was playing the video? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, fuck it. Sorry. Um, uh, do you think Ange would prefer Neighbours or Home and Away? I don't know if he'd be into either of those, man. All I know is, like, Neighbours, at its peak popularity, was watched by more people in England. It, so his viewing figures in England were more than the entire population of Australia. How about that for a freaky stat fact? Well, I'll, all right, I'll, I'll go home and away. I think he's a bit of a Ralph. Is it Alf? Alf, you great killer. Kaufman. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Kaufman. Oh, Ben says, uh, I, I love uh, Reverend Horton Heat. Psycho Rockabilly is a vibe. It is, man. Yeah, yeah, I'd definitely go along with that. I have the same bridge pickup. The Rev uses it. Oh, you've got a Gretsch. You play, do you? I didn't know that, Ben. I've... I've, I've have I seen you play on your stream? Oh, what sort, of, so what sort of stuff are you in there? Tell you what, if you want a rockabilly vibe, how about this for a bass? This is my bass. Beautiful, beautiful. I thought I might, this might be in danger of going to the pawn shop, but thanks to uh, the GoFundMe, I've been able to keep it because I would have got nothing for it. And it's beautiful. It's a, it's a Fender Rascal. Where's the headstock? Beautiful Fender Rascal. They only made this for a little while in 2014, but I love it. It's unique, it sounds great, and it's got twangy old school sounds. So it's got three lipstick pickups in a Stratocaster configuration. I put nice uh, flat wound strings on it, and it is you can get such a variety of tones out of it. I love it. So, uh, yep, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of in the same planetary sphere of music there, Ben. Cool. There's an echo, well, okay. Did it drive everyone away? Probably, I don't know. Ben Elliott, yes. Eric, go on, have a shot at my gold dyer. Drives me crazy. Worst was I hear an echo, uh, I hear an echo for Leicester last season. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Terrible, what echo? Oh, well, it's, it's gone now, eh? I fixed it because it ran out. Um, Shamu says, oh, I'm sure to wear my Spurs pants. That'll, if they're, if they're, if they're Spurs pants from like early 80s, man, it's a shoe in, isn't it? If they're like, um, you know, um, Davis and Sanchez numbered underpants, like it's got Sanchez right across your ass, uh, maybe I'd rethink that. Oh, actually, no. Wear the Sanchez on your ass things because, I mean, if he can get a job being paid loads, anyone can, man. That'll just put your salary up. Go the Sanchez. Lazy 8, good day, man. Uh, yeah, good luck on the uh, Shamal. Good luck on the interview. Shamusa's favourite Alf Stewart quote is probably don't get yeah, probably don't get the rough end of the pineapple. <laughs> hey, top spurs. There you go, man. I hope all is well. Did you see the Ange interview on Optus Sport? Streamed approximately 15 hours ago. Every time I see him, I feel closer. Come on, you spurs. Yes, I did. I saw it yesterday afternoon. Um, uh, yeah, if you, oh, I don't know. It didn't, it didn't seem to get around much. So all you kids out there, <clears throat> if you need a bit more Ange, I'll see if I can get the... Let me see if I can find the link. Seeing as I've got... Because uh... I don't think it is permeated too much around the Spursosphere, this one. Because it's just for Australian, like... Uh... Optus is a mobile phone company that somehow does Premier League football. I don't understand capitalism. It's a mystery to me. Oh, it's got 37 views now, but... Um... Let me just do this. 
but not many, not many. So just in case you, you guys out there have missed this one, I'll just put in a link in the chat. This is a, uh, a uh, oh, I'll just if you t if you do that, I've got it wrong. It'll get you near enough. Um, more about um, it's more Australian soccer focused that one, um, but there is a bit of Spurs in there as well. A bit of Spurs in there as well, uh, which is nice. And it, the way he um, you know he's asked about. Uh, the gist of it is, you know, what about, are you going to be able to handle all the speculation about Harry Kane ongoing? And he just says, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's like, oh, you know, what can I do, basically? It's pretty cool. Aha! Ah! Hang on, hang on. Let's get the right way around, man. Mountain Bushman says, uh, Stema, Evanista. And uh, Mountain Bushman is the is the guy that I saw the Reverend Horton heat with in Kansas City. Ben must be a cool guy. That's all right. Wasn't it great? That was great. It was a great concert. Me and me and Mountain Bushman were there. Just it was so much fun. So much fun. Hey, hello, Kate. Just a girl who loves Spurs. Evening, Paul. I hope you're well, my friend. Yeah, I'm not doing so bad. I was I was a bit sleepy earlier, but uh, I'm all right now. Ben Kaufman says, uh, I have a Gretsch, a Gibson Les Paul Special, a Gibson SG, and a few and a, and a few others. Well I've got my I've got my beautiful Fender Rascal and uh, I've got Squire Precision, which I never play. I never play. I uh, I love my, my Rascal too much. That's that's it though. Oh and I've got a Squire Telecaster, but I don't um, I'm I'm not much of a guitar player, that's mainly my daughters. And Mountain Bushman when he comes round, and uh, yeah, if you want to hear a bit of me and Mountain Bushman, hang on, let me just uh, and I'll just show you something. Why I use purple and yellow isn't because of the uh, current um, movement against Spurs. It's something that comes from an old sort of combo band that me and Mountain Bushman and a couple of other guys. Put together and when uh, we were coming up with a picture of it mountain bushman suggested um suggested purple and yellow because the colors don't go together so uh there we go five years ago i was using purple and yellow get with the program change for spurs get with the program there we go that's us that's me with my old precision there but uh my squire precision anyway where are we going waffling I th it's Tottenham and Tangents, isn't it? Um, okay, saying evening all. Big up, Nick. Do, 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 do. Kim62, have we got any breaking news? Oh, no, is it you? No, it's uh, 24Z, isn't it? Kim62, nice to see you, man. Uh, evening, morning, Paul. Glad you could keep your guitar. It must be like giving your, one of your kids away. Yeah, man. And, and it would have been heartbreaking. I did actually go as far as ringing up a couple of guitar shops, but they weren't buying because musicians are doing it really tough. So if I did get rid of it, it would have been for a, a, an obscenely low price and, um, you know, not worth it, man. Not worth it. Claude Murphy. G'day, man. Uh, Paul, my youth. Paul, my youth. Big to you, my brother. G'day, man. How you going? Kim62, enjoy your streams. Always make me chuckle and put a smile on my face. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I'm all on the Ange train. Woo woo! That's it. It's the Posta Coglu choo choo pulling out of the station of dreary crap football that has just been sat there for four years. Now that Express is off destination glory for Tottenham Hotspur. Get on the train or bugger off. That's the message from Ange Posta Coglu. That's it. You're either on the train or you ain't. That's it. You can try and stop the train. You might pause it for a bit, but not for long, because Ange isn't going to let that happen. That's what he said, man. You either get on a train or you bugger off. Well, I've got to, got to just calm down a bit after that um, outburst, hyperventilating. Whew. Oh, it's like a free high that's just like crap. <laughs> it's not very pleasant. 
Ah, oh, good day. Ah, oh, let's click on it. Jim. Good day, man. I'm Paul and my fellow Ange lovers. Yes, man. That's it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Happy birthday. Happy birthday in in a couple of hours, is it? A couple of hours. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Uh, Richie B, he, and everyone's going to say happy birthday in the chat now and confuse me, aren't they? That's what, I don't know, bloody internet. Let's just chill it a bit. Richie B, evening all, nice to see someone finally signed. Yeah, I'm excited. I am excited. Um, yeah, I was watching clips of him a lot yesterday. Loved it. Lemmy, Lemmy, Paul said, uh, morning, Paul. Did you get around to listening to the Moths? I did, actually. I did listen to some Moths yesterday. I can't remember what songs I listened to. I just, uh, you know, put it on YouTube and I did like it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to listen to a bit more of them. I, uh, yeah, good band, very good band. So I've had a sound, um, um, yeah, it had that, that sort of Sydney pub sound, but it also had a bit of the sound of the music I used to like in England. Oh, God, I'm doing a Davis and Sanchez here. I'm, oh, I'm going to pass out. Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, yeah, but a bit of a mixture with um, kind of um, like a British indie sound that, you know, late 80s that I liked as well. So, yeah, thanks for the recommendation. Good band. Uh, Richie B, toot toot on the Ange train. Oh, Casey Jones, that's him, man. That's it. Going across the prairie. Or is it more uh, Ivor the Engine? Oh, hang on, hang on, I've clicked the wrong bloody thing here. Oh, hang on, here we go. Mountain Bushman from Sebastian. Yeah, come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Sebastian. Nice to have you on board, man. Nice to have you on board. <laughs> now, when you go back home, are you going to be still watching the Mountain, the uh, the Hotspur hippie with, with, uh, with Mummy there, are you? <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Sebastian. Hope you're looking after your granddad well there, man. 61, 61. Oh, far. Well, you know, when I when I see a number like 61, I'm thinking more in terms of, uh, it's just around the corner, that, isn't it? <laughs> Instead of like, oh, God, you know? So, uh, yeah, 21 again, man. 21 again, that's the way. Still 21 in your head. I'm probably about seven in my head. I think. Top Spurs. Any chance Levy can pull his finger out and get Ang some defence before we fly? Tick tock and all that. You know, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of chill with it now. I think Ang has got things under control. He said enough things during his press conferences uh, about him being in control, um, and uh, he said players are going to come, players are going to go. September the first is um, you know it's a it's a long time. But he did also say that he wants to be firing for for, for the Brentford game. So I, I, I was nervous a few days ago because like you, I know we, I mean, every Spurs fan knows we need a defence. It looks like Eric Dyer, unfortunately, isn't going anywhere because he's now got his own movie. Um, but oh well, we've got him for another year. Let's hope, hope we don't play him. That's fine. Um, but um, I'm chill and calm. It looks like we're going to get a defender dropping soon, unless this has been the mother of all smoke screens and and stuff ups by uh by 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 Enoch. But um, oh, I'm calm, man. I'm calm. It looks like there's rumours of players going out the door for for actual like money, which I'm really surprised at. I mean, we've got rid of Harry Winks for ten million. I think that was outstanding, outstanding, because it made kind of Madison a net thirty million. That's a, such a bargain, man. There's a, there's, there might be a bidding war. Can you believe it? A bidding war for Davinson Sanchez. Um, who else? Uh, Tanganga, were there, there There were offers for him as well. Maybe Nottingham Forest were, were up for him as well. So, you know, it, it looks like <clears throat> some of these players that we want to get rid of, there are clubs around the place, in, in mainly in Europe, that are sniffing around them. And maybe, you know... A few of those out the door. I was having this discussion with um, with Jose from El Tel Cockerell um, on the stream 
a few uh, like 12 hours ago odd that um you know we get a few of these players out the door for a few bucks here and a few bucks there we might be you know hopefully looking at even maybe two possibly three defenders um so i don't know whether they get on the plane or not i'm <clears throat> I'm not as concerned now. I'm not as concerned. I, I trust Ange. I trust Ange. He's uh, he's in control. You can see it. he's un, he's unflappable. He's in control. He 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 is Mr. Tottenham now, and they're all just going to work around him. The owners, everyone. That's it. By the moment, uh, Spurs and China both signing up Solomon's. Oh, I've got to calm down again. Just going to. Uh, I run out of coffee, so uh, I'm sorry, Ben. It's Aldi Instant, mate. If I was over in London, I'd be down your place having a having a chug. But you know, times are hard, man. Go fund me. Go fund me. Um, just gonna get a quick drink of water. Back in a second. Entertain yourselves. Wish Jim a happy birthday. You don't get this top quality entertainment anywhere else on the internet, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, here we go. That is how easy is this? Streaming. I'm lying on a couch. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, Kate says, just seen Gerard interview from Saudi. I bet none of them could understand him. <laughs> He do 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 he do. Eh, look, look, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at the at the fucking fuck. Oh. I, I I love people from Liverpool. I hate your football team, and from a supporters' point of view, can't stand your supporters. But it's a harmless hate. It's like a fight without smell. That's what football's all about. Even our harmless hate brings us all together, and we realise we are all one species on this ball of dirt. Why can't we just get along? <laughs> Klopp has cracked. Klopp has cracked. I was saying it last year. We're going to see full, full disturption in in the Klopp world this year. Liverpool are going nowhere. And, and St Steven Gerrard managing in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Kate uh, says, well, you're as old as the woman you feel, and I'm 45, so he's doing okay. Oh, wow, that's, uh, so I'm, I'm, uh, I, I'm zero. I haven't even been born, which is cool. I just, uh, I just exist somewhere. Just, con I, that's how I found my higher state of consciousness. Um, Kate also says, v uh, Van der Ven will be announced within 48 hours. Mark my words. All right, you heard it here, folks. You heard it here. Tier one. Tier one. Tier one source. Who decides the tiers? What's all this tier? Because I've heard someone be described as a tier 1.5. I don't understand. Has someone done out there on the internet a tier list for Fleet Street meathead hacks and their, uh, and their, their associates in the United Nation of Lazy Writers. Keith Johnston, g'day man. Ah, oh, right, now, I, did, I, I knew this was happening. So, uh, Keith Johnston says, uh, did you see we played Cambridge yesterday behind closed doors and drew 1-1? Lloris in goal and Scarlett scored the equaliser. That's interesting. So it wasn't really widely publicised, this. I, um, I saw this in a tweet by... Lily White Rose. Apparently yesterday or today, whatever time you are in on this ball of dirt, um, we were due to play Cambridge United in an under 21s game, but Ange changed it to uh, a first 11, the first 11 game. See, he's in control, man. He's in control because he wanted a game in to see what we could do. So uh, you know the result. I'm not. You know the results. The result isn't it. First game for for a new look team. And, uh, you know, some players still missing. Um, but it's interesting. Dane Scarlett scored the uh, equaliser. Well, well, well. Good on him. Good on him. 
Mel Bushman says he'll ask his mum. <laughs> on you, Sebastian. <laughs> and, and Sebastian, I'm glad you like the music I'm playing in the background. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. That was me and your granddad a lot of it, you know. Don't know if he told you that. All the music all in the background that you can hear just because I thought, well, I need music that, I, um, that I'm not going to get done for copyright by. And all the stuff I could find in libraries, it was just, well, hang on, just soulless stuff. So I thought I'll, I'll use I'll use my own music. So it's me, Mountain Bushman, and a couple of others. And uh, I think it's all right as background music. I mean, I like turning it up to 11 and putting my disco lights on, actually. Because if you're not making music that you don't love yourself, what's the point, eh? I think when any pop star says... Uh, you know, if they're asked what's the best music in the world, and they say mine, I think that is perfectly legitimate. It's not arrogance. What, what's the point in doing it? You ain't gonna love it. Richie B says, I think we've had uh, a pretty decent transfer market so far, I'd agree. It wasn't so long ago that Levy was all about last day bargains. Yeah, I mean, that kind of changed a bit last year, didn't it? Um, we got like, we were right out of the traps buying rubbish. But let's hope these early buys have been good. I'm sure Madison is going to be fantastic. Can you imagine Madison and Kane? It's got to be 40 goals for Kane this year, isn't it? It's got to be 40. <clears throat> I mean, 40 for Kane. See if I can add this up on my fingers. Right. Now, this might be a bit optimistic, a bit unrealistic. People might say, oh, so, such an unrealistic Spurs fan. Oh, Spurs fans are pathetic. I don't care, man. I don't care because I'm dreaming. I'm a dreamer. I believe in theories at the bottom of the garden. So we've got 40, 40, this is the number of goals. 40 for Kane. Let's say 10 for Madison. Let's go between Kulu and, let's say, so, so Kulu and, and Son and the others. Probably another 30. So that's, that's, that's 80 goals, 80 goals, 80 goals off the block, 80 goals. That's enough to lift, lift us up into the uh, into the mix of the table, fix up the defence a bit. So instead of losing 63 goals, if we can get that down to 40, you know, something under 40, I think we're looking really good. The only thing is, you know, with defence, we do need a bit more because we're only one injury away from Dyer and Sanchez, aren't we? So, uh, you know, let's get that sorted out. Richie B, I hope you're right about Van der Ven just to go, just, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Kim62, uh, he said in the Optus interview that he does his research on a club. Yes, man. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, <clears throat> good point. I'll, I'll expand on this. Thanks, man. <clears throat> uh, he does his research on a club before he joins, so he knows that defence needs strengthening and must have been discussed before he said he wanted to come to us. Yeah, so just on that as well, something I found interesting that he said, because it wasn't a lot of Spurs talk in it, but he was asked... Um, you know, um, it, it was such like recon, you know, reconnecting the fans with the club is an important thing that he does. How does he go about doing that? And, uh, you know, I'm not quoting Angie, but the gist of what he was saying was um, uh, he likes to find, he, the phrase I loved when he said, he said he likes to find a feeling for the, for the soul of the club. What's what makes that club that club? What what you know? What makes it different? Because he said every every club all around the world they're all different, all different, you know. And he and he was talking about when he's managing Australia. He said even Brisbane Roar and Melbourne Victory and Mel and South Melbourne they're all different. Same country, all different. Yokohama was different. Celtic was different. Tottenham's different again. So he says once he finds out, he feel you know works out the soul of the club, what it's about then it makes it easy for him to connect with the fans. Uh, that, I, I really like the way he put it. I like the way he put it. Um, and it makes sense to me. And I think he's doing it already because when he mentioned the 1981 FA Cup final in his press conference, I just couldn't be happier. When he mentioned players like Rock, Ricky, Ozzy and Glenn, I mean... He, that's what fans want to hear, isn't it? That's what fans want to hear. They don't want to hear some aloof manager 
talking about how good they are and how Spurs has been crap for 23 years and but uh, it's, it's still hard to turn around. Patient fans need to be patient. It's like gearing us up for like you know. Oh God, are we are we going to watch a football game or are we going for a ten stretch in good Guantanamo Bay? You know, whereas Ange sits there excited in a press conference, recalling his. What is one of his dear childhood memories, sitting there with his old man in the middle of the night, watching Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, the greatest football team the world has ever seen, win the 1981 FA Cup. And the way he put it, he says, he said, I remember Ricky and Ozzy. I remember that FA Cup final. The way he said it, man. And I mean, there, there can't have been a Spurs fan that just went, oh my God, this guy is so perfect for the job. And I knew, he'd, I knew he would do it. I knew he would do it. Not because I'm clever, but I, I just know I've seen him. I've seen him, man. There's a, he's getting an awful lot of goodwill from the fans now, and I'm really happy, really happy that fans are feeling that way because it's going to be a real, it's going to be a great time. We're all going to love it. You know, trophies, schmofies. Andrew's saying it right. He's got the priorities right. You know, first, let's play some good football. Let's get, let's get the right sort of football play. And once you get the right sort of football playing, then we'll see what happens after that. And I think that is magnificent. Aha! Chris from Meta Football TV. Get over there and subscribe to Meta T Football TV. Wonderful channel. If you're still here, Ben, give, can you give him a shout? Give yourself a shout as well. Plug what you like, mate. Completely abuse your own mod power. We're all corrupt here in the... Uh, it's not a democracy. It's a hotspur hypocrisy. So we can break our own rules, man. The hotspur hypocrisy. Go plug yourself, man. Anyone who's a mod, plug yourselves. Plug yourselves. Do what you want, man. Don't wait for me to say it. As soon as you come on, just say it is my channel. There you go. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. But, but I am excited for one thing, and I'll bring it up again. I'm excited, Moondog, about the ending because they went all Wicker Man on the ending. This is what got me out of the bed with a smile this morning. If you watch it right onto the uh, right, if you watch the Eric Dyer movie right to the end, you'll see that they set him on fire. They put him on a bonfire. Isn't that brilliant? So you know they put a big smile on his face. There he is, Guy Fawkes, the Wicker Man. Oh Jesus Christ! No, he's gone. He's gone. So maybe Eric Dyer ain't playing for us this season. That's what I like to think. But they are taking I mean, yeah. If ever anyone's on the verge of Spurs play, so Eric, the Eric Dyer, and I, I tell you what, the reaction on Twitter, man. Let me see. Let me see if I can read a few of these out because it was. Oh, hang on, what we got here. I tweet, I retweeted it saying, I know Eric Dyer isn't the most popular player, but they didn't like, they didn't have to chuck him on a bonfire right at the end of the clip. People seem to be finding that amusing, which is nice. But the, um, I, I mean, this is how tone deaf they are. It's like, we, we, uh, Dyer propaganda to try and drum up some interest. Let's go. Uh, some people are sad at the response, you know. Oh, you know, you, there's a few Dyer lovers out there. Uh, Miles is saying, nobody is paying to watch Eric Dyer. Read the room, admin says, Hotspur, Hotspur reports. Get this man out. I'm just here for the comments. It's just like, it's... <laughs> and there's some I can't show or read. But it's quite funny. It's quite funny. And it's like, of all the players, man, you didn't pick. Ty Eric Dyer. The motion picture man. Tone deaf. Tone deaf. Tone deaf. Ah, oh, Cy Dancer. G'day, man. G'day, man. Good evening. Good morning. Yep, Sesson, you're injured before the start of the season. Seems about right. Well, we can't rip up his uh, contract now. We've got to look after the lad, eh? That's the way football works. Chris D. Hey, Paul. As you know, Kyogo yeah, was given a new four-year deal by Celtic last week, probably because they expect Premier League clubs to come for him. Should Spurs get him? 
Uh, well, not not now because he's just signed a four-year contract. But I think that's a very very smart move by Celtic. If he has another year like last year, they're probably going to make a lot of money out of him, at least. Or maybe Kyogo just likes playing for Celtic. I mean, he seemed to be. That's what I liked about the player last week. Last when I was watching Celtic last year, it wasn't just the the way he played and the goals he scored. It was just he had a real connection with the fans. He just looked like he was having so much fun. Um, so probably not for Spurs now, no. Um, but, you know, good luck to him. He looks like a good lad. And there was something that Ange mentioned in, in mentioned it a couple of times in his press conferences when he's talking about the players, the way they train, the, the way they play, and importantly for me, also the way they behave. The way they behave. So he's going to be setting a tone. He's going to be setting a tone at Tottenham Hotspur. He's going to be doing much more than, you know, putting cones out and getting a dribble of ball between them. Um, he's going to be setting a tone for the club. Expectations, standards of behaviour, punctuality, um, dress. Hopefully he'll stop them all listening to headphones on the coach. That's what I'd be doing. No music in the dressing room, none of that, except if you have a team song. None of that, none of that. It's one of those things that really bloody annoys me when I see players, not just Tottenham, and they're all coming off a team coach and they've all got big headphones on because they've probably got sponsorship deals with these headphone companies. But I'm thinking, no, man, no, I'll be throwing all that in the bin. Every day I'll be t getting their mobile phones, putting them in a bucket, pick them up at the end of the day, all that. Bond as a team. So I don't know if Ange will be doing any or all of that, but there's going to be there's going to be something happening at Tottenham. If when he mentions behaviour, I'm excited about that. Meta Football TV, Chris, if Ange does his research before joining, then Levy isn't as bad as we think. All those pages were stuck together. Gross. Oh, oh please. Oh, that was just an eyebrow. 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 Richie B, that's gutting news, man. I've got a feel for that. I had so much potential. <laughs> yeah, potential. Potential. Potential don't cut it on the pitch, man. Yeah, Mount Bush, Bush man. You know, Conte, it was unacceptable. Unacceptable, man. I'm going to keep saying unacceptable and forever now. Uh, people will not have a word, clue what I'm on about. I'm going to say in general conversation, and they'll think, why can't this guy say un unacceptable? Does he say like Pacific instead of Pacific? Does he say things like batter down the hatches or chomping at the bit or it's like a damp squid? I love malapropisms. They make me chuckle. Unacceptable. I heard someone... I heard so I won't say who it was because I don't want to single him out. It's probably a sip of the t slip of the tongue. But they said, "Yeah, I hope he gets a fair crack of the wick, the wick, a fair crack of the wick." I'm sure that was just a. I mean, I, I mess up words and numbers and things from time to time. My favourite, I think, was Rio Ferdinand when uh, he was asked about when he was a player and he was asked about um, uh, would he be up for the captaincy, and Rio Ferdinand said. I'd be happy to take up the mantle piece. <laughs> mantle piece. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ian. G'day, man. Uh, I haven't watched the Die movie, but I don't feel like I need to after seeing a tribute to him earlier, Paul. Yeah, no. Nah. No. I mean, oh. I mean, it's bad enough just watching the trailer. How long was the trailer? Let's have a look. It was 1 minute 18. I mean, whoa, I know, I, I couldn't I couldn't face watch it. I mean, how long is it going to be? Is it like half? Let's have a look on Spurs play. Maybe he's got it on Spurs play. I can see how long it is. My God. Um, hang on. Where's the Tottenham Hotspur app? Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, watch. Watch. There we go. That's what I want to do. I want to watch something. Wait for the app to. What's it doing? 
technology, man. It does my head in. I just want to sit around the fire having a laugh. It's all I want to do, man. Yeah, and I, I, I mean this sincerely, Asarian. When we came over here, we should have assimilated with you and had a good old life, not the other way around. Got it all back to us, round the front. It's, uh, it's a shame those days are gone, man. I would have loved to have been around for them. All right, what we got here? Originals. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I didn't realize this. <laughs> the, the Eric Dyer movie is called Me. It's called Me. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, they, 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 they do a string of them. Oh, the last one they did was Lucas Mora. Can you believe it? Are they just picking crap players? Is that the Me series? It's like, okay, you, you're bloody useless. We'll try and make you look good. Oh my god, it's called me. Oh, can I bring that up there? I'm having trouble getting things showing here. Let me see if I just hold it there. I'll just hold it there and talk. Surely this crap algorithm will understand what I'm trying to do here, won't it? Come on. Come on. Come on. The internet's got a short attention span, everyone will leave. Well, it's cool, it, uh, if you go onto the Spurs Play app, which I've got, but I don't, I don't oh, it's just, I, I can't, I can't be doing it. It's, why, 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 why are apps so terrible? But it's called me, Eric Dyer. I just, that does my head in, man. That actually hurts to think about that someone in the PR social media department of Spurs thought, what should we call the ser a series of movies about players? Should we call it Feet of Glory? Should we call it Hot Spur, Hot Profile? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, we need, we need it something quick and jazzy. User experience, all about UX these days. It's all about marketing and people taking their slice of the pie for doing nothing and they come up with me. Me. Oh, that really does actually hurt my head, man. I can't take it. I can't take it. Oh, I'm gonna put my do my usual tribute to uh, Her Highness, Queen Ellie of North London. Your Highness. Uh, yes, Paul, caught your fantastic show again. So happy to make your acquaintance once more. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Richie B says, I was a little confused when I tuned in earlier and you were showing a film of yourself. Ah, it's, you know, it's just a bit of filler. I was just showing the Eric Dyer story, me. That's what you get on Spurs play. It's me dicking around on my roof. That's it. That's it. You know, I've become a Levy shill. I've become a Levy shill. I can't wait till I get... That's the other reason I'm looking forward to getting to a thousand subscribers. Not just because I can milk some bloody advertising money if I stop swearing, which is unlikely. Milk some YouTube advertising cash. But maybe old old Enoch will put me on their shill list. I hear they've got one going and uh, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Levy, Enoch, I can be bought, man. I can be bought. This hippie stuff, it's all the fun. Don't buy it. I'm available. Just send me loads of money, man. I think it's hilarious that people think that Spurs, Tottenham Hotspur are actually paying YouTubers for good press. Can you believe it? Can you believe that people actually think that? You know, when they when they go as far as raising ticket prices to cream off an extra two and a half million quid off of uh, fans for no reason, for no reason apart from just some bean counter thought they could optimize ticket sales, even though we of a revenue of between four and a half, uh, 450 and 500 million. So it is absolutely pointless. Um, do you think a company that tight would, would actually go to YouTubers and say, here, can we pay you to say nice things about Tottenham? I mean, seriously, man, there are some tin foil hat wearers out there 
It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Brian Hill. Scooter Poot. To Lolly Kid. Oh, oh no, I like this. Oh, I feel like this is an episode of Call My Bluff. Ah, oh, but that it were, but that it were. Scooter Pot. To Lolly Gag. Dilly Dally. To travel with no specific dimension in mind. That'd be like Frank Muir. Frank Muir. Scooter Poot. To Lolly Gag. Dilly Dally. To travel with no specific destination in mind. If you're under the age of 50, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about, and that's the way I like it. I've cornered the uh, the uh, the more mature demographic, and uh, I'm cool with that, man. Chris D. So who gets the captain's armband, Paul? Can't give it to Kane if he's not all in. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Au, con au contraire, man. Uh, who was captain of Man City this year? I can't remember his name because I don't follow football that much, apart from Tottenham. But I do... Recall that their skipper is uh, leaving on a free. So, and they did all right last year, didn't they? Didn't do too bad. Won a couple of trinkets and baubles. So, yeah, I, I think Kane, if he, um, if he's, if he's, if he's committing to stay, stay in the year, and Ange thinks he's a captain, then he's a captain. Simple. I don't know if he will be captain. In my personal choice, I would make it. I, I, I would not make him captain. Because he's a striker. That's, I think he's in the wrong area of the pitch to be crap captain. But nothing to do with his contract. Ellie says this doco made me uh, made on the on the dozy dyer. I give up. That guy is going to be at Spurs while other defenders we haven't bought yet. Think why do I want to partner that crap ass two first? I know, man. I know, man. You know, maybe we could find some other role at him. Maybe. I'm assuming Tottenham still have a chicken mascot running around. Stick him in that. Stick him in that. No one needs to see him. Uh, Ellie also says, I would add an at to me to uh, make it meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I would add a, a gr to make it meager. Or a agar. Add an agar. Oh, meat head. <laughs> meat head. There's more. There's more. <laughs> meat head. <laughs> that's it dude that's it <laughs> piss off me <laughs> oh, Ellie's on a roll oh we're all on a roll wonderful Jason's in here Jason Helms make me sick <laughs> excellent uh, Derek Smith is in Derek I've got to thank you for your uh, for your comment the other day just for the, you know, people, I don't, I don't often reply to videos when I'm out in the wild, but I do read them. And Derek put up a, a great comment to the video I did a couple of days ago, a few days ago, uh, when I said I was getting a little bit nervous about not buying defenders yet. You know, we're getting towards the going on a flying away on a jet plane uh, part of the season. And Derek put a comment saying, well, you know, maybe uh, Ange just wants to have a look at what we got first. How about that? And it's fair enough. And, uh, I, that started me calming down. He started swaying me over, but I wasn't fully there yet. But now I've seen Ange. Uh, now I've seen Ange speak. I, I'm all. I'm all aboard with your with your Derek with your comment, Derek. I think. Uh, I think you nipped it in the bud there, man. You nipped it in the bud. You got it on the head. I'm. Uh, I'm in concurrence now. Echo, echo. Goalkeeper should never ever be should never be captain. I agree. Shouldn't be a captain. Shouldn't be a striker. Anyone else? Mate? Oh, so defender, midfielder. I'm all right with that. Here we go. Not sure if you're a Meta Football TV says. Uh, not sure if you're aware, Paul, but Farley TV did an impression of Ange upon being appointed Spurs boss. Funny guy. Take a look. I'm not a big fan of that guy, man. Um, I'm not a big fan of that guy. Uh, but. But this is just one of those, one of my little quirks. I don't find much comedy funny these days, and impressionists are a bit low ball. Uh, but I know a lot of people like him, you know. And I don't like his uh, his uh, his Harry Kane. Oh, I might be getting two people confused. There's two of them. There's Farley, and there's that Connor Moore guy. They just roll into one for me, and. Uh, but yeah, if that's your thing, bloke, I'll have a look at his Ange. I'll have a look at his Ange impression. Um, I bet it won't be very good. I can guarantee it won't be very good because I know Ange inside out and he's probably just putting 
from uh, here, mate. Bit of a bit of a gruff as uh, <coughs> Australian accent, you know. Some, yeah, something like that. But I will check it out. Yeah, Derek Smith. Uh, nice one, man. Nice one. Nice one. And isn't it, you know, Derek? Isn't it a little bit refreshing? And uh, when you when you're on the internet and you have different points of view, and it doesn't turn up into a big debate. Didn't I? St I set my stall out on this channel. My first video, when I got the name wrong of the channel, which is which is a good start, eh? Um, but I don't like debates. I don't like debates. I I do watch them from time to time. I'm not going to say that, uh, they're crap or anything like that. But from my own channel, it ain't going to happen. I I um I don't mind differing opinions and um, asking questions just so you can really understand another person. That's what it's all about to me. It's understanding another person. And, uh, and sometimes you might find they have a point, sometimes you might not, but when it gets to, as long as, you get, as long as it's good faith conversation, you know, good faith, and when you both understand each other, then, then it's all good, you can move on, you know, but when it turns into, you know, silly setting verbal traps and point scoring and, oh, but you said this and now you're saying this, you can't have it, this, you can't have it both, I'm just, I check out, I check out. I'm not interested in that. I know there's some people around there that are always up for a debate. What's the point? What's the point? I don't. F I, well, you know, some people find it fun to do. Sometimes I find it amusing to watch. I can only take so much of it. But what is the point in it? What's the? You know, okay, debate. Okay, well, nice one. You've won. What? What? What won? I mean, you know, have you won? Uh, have you won a gold medal? You know. Not that I like to talk about that. That's for another day. That's for another day. But what have you won? Nothing. It's just all ego, man. All ego. That's all it is. It's ridiculous. Meat. <laughs> Ellie criticised Dice Football, not the person. No, you know what? I'm with Ellie Derrick on this one. The thing that did it for me, when he ran into the football stand, defending his family and all that, not cool, not cool. Do it on the pitch, mate. So I think, I think there's something, uh, something, I don't, well, let, let, me, let me put it this way. I can criticize that behavior. That's for sure. That is for sure. Fair enough, Paul, yeah. See, there we go. Look at that. What, see, Chris, Chris from Meta Football TV isn't saying, oh, you don't like Farley, you're a knob. But it's okay, easy. Just makes it easy, man. That's all you want. Just, you know, no stress. Pommy Spur, good morning. Good evening, fellow Spurs fans, yeah? Peace, love, and understanding. That's what it all comes down to, man. And I think, you know, I personally get a lot more out of that, even when I don't disagree. I mean, what are you disagreeing about? It's just bloody football, isn't it? You know, this silly thing that we've, we've assigned so much importance to, which is, makes it kind of cool. But what's the point of falling out and having a big argument and getting angry about that? It's just, it's just don't make any sense to me. But a bit of understanding makes you richer, richer as a person, you know? Because when you understand someone and you've got a bit of empathy, it, it makes you more human, I reckon. Makes you more human. Separates us from, you know, kangaroos. Makes us top of the food chain, that's what it does. <laughs> echo, echo, it comes with age and whiskey. Yeah. Derek Smith, debates are won by the best debaters. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean their viewpoint is correct. It just means they're better at arguing. Or they just, you know, even even, even the way it's debating, like, us, you know, people say, oh, I've won or whatever. And it's like, what? But you're talking like a twat. And I just don't get it, man. All right, so I'm just going to have a quick look on the uh, Spursosphere. The Spursosphere. I don't think we're going to get any late breaking news at this time, are we? Um, oh, what button do I click on Twitter? Come on. Come on, man. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Chris Cowley's been on Talk Sport again. Ah, good on him. Good on him. He seems to be the one that crops up. But, you know, he's a Spurs nerd. Well done, Chris. Uh... Ba, 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 ba. Oh, speaking of which, here we go. The overlap. The overlap. Oh. 
the overlap with Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher. Eighty two dog 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 Gary. Um the overlap where we get a bunch of fans from all the different football clubs and surprise, surprise, they don't agree with each other. I just don't find it entertaining at all in the slightest. The fan debate is back. I, see this thing, I don't give a I don't give a shit what other fans of other clubs say. I really I don't care. Why would I ever want to debate like an Arsenal fan? I've got no regard for their opinion of Tottenham whatsoever. And I wouldn't expect them to have any regard from for from my opinion of Arsenal. So what's there a debate? I don't get it. It, it makes me scratch my head. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, just to ask a few more comments. Just to, you know, quick plug. Thanks for everyone that's clicking like. And, you, know, you know what's making me happy, right? You know what's making me pretty happy is the 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 viewing and, and like and the subscribers have really gone up way way quicker on this channel than I ever expected right and I'm glad I've been able to do that in a way where I haven't had to go down the you know and I know a lot of people say click like and subscribe I'm not going I'm not saying that so much you know because you know saying it at the beginning at the end and now and then you know that's all cool but it's when they go overboard on it and hammer the drum on it and I hardly mention it at all. And it seems to be working. And that, I'm so happy about that, you know? Because that's the way I want to do it. I don't want to I don't want to have a bunch of people watching that I'm kind of telling to watch or begging to watch. You know, you just do it. You watch if you want to, you know? But I will beg for some money because I am skint. <laughs> I am skint. When I get monetized, I won't, it, 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 it's the same, isn't it? I'm still like saying, give me money. But that won't feel like begging so much because it does make me feel like begging. But I am very, very hard up at the moment for the next few weeks. There's a GoFundMe link in the description. All donations are, are well, are very well received. But you know, don't you know? I don't want people just do it if you can and you want to. You know, like a tip because you enjoy the show or something like that. If you can't or you don't want it, that's that's totally cool. Totally cool, man. You know, give it to some homeless guy. You know, whatever, or keep it for yourself. You know, it's your money. Anything else happening? Oh, I've got loads more comments now. That's brilliant. Oh, you lot, I like, this is great. You all keep me going, and no one's a twat. I really do like this. This I'm having. I have. A, I have so much fun doing this because people are cool. Ellie says, uh, Derek, I'm comparing his football skills. Oh no, you're having a conversation with each other. Won't get in between people. Holly Spur, National Echo Sketch Day apparently somewhere to get out. What? No, 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 no. Are you in referencing to someone, something here that I've talked about half an hour ago? Or is this a, no. What? No. It is. You know, I remember the days where you just had like Christmas Day, maybe Easter Sunday, New Year's Day, yeah, any other faiths. I don't, I'm not too familiar with the Jewish faith, I'm afraid. So, so bear with me if I get this wrong. Passover, Yom Kippur. Um, I, that's all I know. I'm a Spurs fan. I don't. I, I know so little about the Jewish faith. Islam, Adel Fitri, Adel Adha. Simple, you know, simple. You knew where you stood, didn't you? You knew where you stood. But Pommy Spur is right. Pommy Spur's right. Look, look. July 12th, according to someone, someone, etch a sketch, day is July the 12th. Oh, it was because it was invented today. Oh. Oh, it's, it really is planet stupid, man. It's planet stupid. You know, I'm so glad I wasn't born 10 years ago. I, I don't know if I could deal with all this. At least I'm, you know, over the hill, as in the cycle of life's going in. Not, you know, over the hill, like, badly, but, you know... I'm 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 in the I'm in the second innings. Let's put it that way. I'm in the second innings. 
I'm fine with that. I can just put myself in a bubble. But younger people, I suppose they've grown up with it. They'll be fine with it. But oh my god, oh my god. Yes, sorry, and most experienced about here. Yeah, most debaters. It's annoying, isn't it? It's annoying, isn't it? It's just annoying. Oh, I have a question for you, Yasarian. Um, I, I don't want to ask you here, uh, but if you're on Twitter, if you could send me a DM at Hotspur Hippie, I, I, I'm just, I just want to ask you a question. It's something that I'm curious about. Um, anyway, if that's all right with you, by the way. Uh, Meta Football TV. Chris, op, opin, op, opinions personal. Doesn't make the, the uh, person the beholder of truth exactly right. That's why, you know, when you hear people say, oh, you're, I'm dealing in fact, you're dealing in feelings, you know, that's just the rhetoric tool, isn't it? It's, it's just ridiculous. Degrading into name calling and sophomoric, sophomoric, sophomoric. It's childish, I can't even say the word, man, but I, I know the word you mean. F flipping about with words. I'm trying to, trying, to, trying to calm down the language just in case. You know, Levy wants to give me some of that money when I get the... That's the wrong symbol. That's milking a cow. I didn't mean uh, Levy wanting to do that. <laughs> I'm not that hard up, man. Uh, Derek Smith, I don't think uh, he's going anywhere this summer, though, really. No, he's not going anywhere. Oh, well. Oh, well, one more year. One more year. I could, I could take it because Andrew's in charge. I don't care. Jason Helm says, would most of us agree that Dyer has had at least one good season in his time with Spurs? Or are we so disgusted by his performance last season that it's too hard to agree? I think on the latter. I think maybe if you added up all his bits and pieces over his 10-year career with Spurs, you could probably get one good season about it. But, um, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. That's about it. But, hey, you know what? I kind of see a bit where Derek's coming from. I kind of see a bit where everyone's coming from. As far as, as far as I'm concerned, no, I don't like the player. But I, I, it's only one. It's one more year, and then he's and then he's gone. I, he's not going to get a contract extension. And Ange is in charge. And you know what? You know what? If Ange decides with his massive football brain that Eric Dyer is a good player, and makes him a good player, because don't forget our previous few coaches have not made our players any better. They have not improved anyone. Anyone, anyone in in our entire squad, our last three, four managers, I'm going up to after Potcher sack, none of them have improved players. In many cases, they've just made them worse. Ange is definitely a manager that improves players without a shadow of a doubt. I've seen him do that, especially at the Australian national team level. Um, what he did, to give you two recent examples, Joe Hart, Cameron Carter-Vickers, both Spurs boys or men at Celtic, you would not recognise these players. That's what Ange can do. If he says, Eric, I can make you better, and he does it, I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. All is forgiven, Eric Dyer. I'll be on the Eric Dyer train. So, you know, that's fine by me. That's where I stand. As it stands at, currently, though, tosser. <laughs> Uh, Pommy Spur. If people want to be arseholes, then Harry Hotspur site is probably going somewhere on the interwebs. Oh, yeah, I don't care. It's, it's internet stuff, man. I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. I'm, I just don't read anything. I, I, don't, I, I don't want that to happen, obviously, you know. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not going to get involved in all that shit. Don't, it doesn't bother me. just want to play this place a little piece of calm, you know. Chris, Chris D, good point, Paul. Uh, okay, well, I, maybe I've talked about it too much, actually. So, oops. Don't want to make a big thing about it. I'm just saying what I want this channel to be, you know. So when I have people on, that's, you know, that's what I want it to be as well. That's why I don't do a lot of the call-ins. Or when I do call-ins, I'm not going to have a lot of people. Because when you have a lot of people on, no matter who they are, it kind of turns into that. And I've kind of got sucked into that myself, you know, and I just don't want that to happen here. But this, And I'm saying there's plenty of places you can go, and they, and there's places that do it well, you know. I'm not saying it's it's a bad or wrong thing. It's just it's just not my vibe, that's all, for me to, to run it, to moderate it. Oh, National Pizza Day, man. 
National Paper Clip Day. Well, we've got to find out what day the uh, the paper clip was uh, was um, was invented, don't we? And then that'll be National Paper Clip Day. The kids actually play with an etch a sketch. There's pro I bet you, I bet your ass. I bet your ass. I'm going to look for it now. I bet there's an etch a sketch app. I bet there is. Oh, I bet it's an official etch a sketch app. There isn't. Call me. Call me. Etch a sketch. Got an idea for you. It's gonna, it will happen. Wouldn't that be completely bonkers? Uh, Andrew's a coach. M Mourinho and Conte are just narcissistic managers. Yeah, I, they, I, I see where you're coming from there. They, yeah, Ange is a proper coach. Mourinho and Conte. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if I'd go as far as, as narcissistic, but I see what you're saying. They're just managers, aren't they? And um, I don't think they do anything to to get more out of players. Off the Sport did a great interview with Ange yesterday. Uh, today, yes, well, it was yesterday for me. Yep, very interesting. Uh, yeah, so Derek Optus. Uh, well, it's not quite a channel. It's um, so they they they, they do. Uh, what would it be the equivalent of? Not not quite Sky Sports, but something. Well, something like that. They've got the rights to the Premier League and a lot of soccer in Australia, uh, but they are a mobile phone and telecommunic telecommunications company primarily. Um, so I don't know how they. You know, I don't know how that all works. I find all that sort of stuff confusing, but you know, you know, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what Optus are. And I watched the interview yesterday. Did you, uh, what do you reckon, Derek? Did you pick any nuggets out of there? I've discussed a few things of what I liked about it because it was more about Australian football than Tottenham, but he did talk about Tottenham a little bit. Oh, blimey. This is going longer than I expected. I thought this would be another one where I just, uh, Get a bit knackered, man. Oh, hang on. I've got a, a tip here from... Oh! Oh, apparently I've been... Sorry. Breaking news. Breaking news. Maybe I, was searched, I, I, I searched for the wrong thing. Or maybe it's just for iPhone. But I have a, an important update from Mountain Bushman. Official Etch-A-Sketch app for iPhone and iPad is here and it's free. Nothing screams nostalgia like Etch-A-Sketch and now you can turn your iPhone or iPad into the classic drawing tablet as the official app was released at the end of June and this was six years ago, so this was 2017. We need an EMP. Just an EMP, no no fatalities, I don't want anyone harmed. Critical system somehow get maintained, but everything else just needs to stop <laughs> for a bit anyway. Are you sorry, I'm not on Twitter, Facebook or any other platform. Well, that's it, I, I'm with you, man. Uh, that's all cool, that's all cool, all cool. I, I totally get where you're coming from. I can't stand them either. Um, I use Twitter to look for Spurs news, really, that's about it. But all the Facebook and all the other crap, I, I can't, I can't be doing with it, man. Can't be doing with it. Oh, Echo, Echo, quit social media. Oh, yeah, never been happier. I'll tell you, there was a turning point for me, man. I was on holiday in Sarajevo uh, with Mountain Bushman, and I was taking some pictures there. And I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, this, this will look good on Facebook. This is about what, this is a few years ago now few years ago and it, I just twigged I thought who am I taking these pictures for am I taking them for me or am I taking them just to uh, make people think I'm having a cool and exciting life which I think I kind of do anyway but I don't care if other people think that or not and maybe you know what there's some people that aren't having a cool and fantastic life and maybe that will make them feel a bit bit shit and I don't want that either so I just there and then I just stopped Stopped. Couldn't be bothered doing it anymore. Couldn't be bothered doing it anymore. Uh, all right, how, how long have I been going? Let me just have a quick look here. There's some people that aren't having a cool and fantastic life. All right, I know. Don't echo yourself. Where does it say how long I've been streaming? Started an hour ago. Uh, what does it say in here anywhere? No. 
Oh, well, I think I've been going a while, haven't I? About an hour and 40, something like that. Yeah, social media, I, find, I think it's such a divisive thing. I think it's done such damage to the world. It really has. Um, I, if, if, I, you know, if I could have my way, I'd switch it all off. What do we need it for? You know, I, I remember when I first started using Facebook, because, you know, because I'm from England, it was fun. You know, I used to be able to keep in contact with people in England easier, but then it just balloons up, isn't it? Balloons up. Then you know, if, before you know it, you've got 400 Facebook friends. Who, who are these people? Who are these people? You know, in real life, I've maybe got like three friends. So yeah, 99 minutes. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. You know. Ah, uh, people uh, do it, but I hate it. Yeah, I hate it. Anyway, on that uplifting note, I'll just have one quick look at the Spursosphere to see if there's anything happening here, and we'll, we'll close it all off. But there is an Etch a Sketch app. Why don't you just buy an Etch a Sketch or a Chinese knockoff Etch a Sketch? I don't know what that'd be called, but you know, and don't, don't. Um, but. Um, just buy an etch sketch that'd be way more fun well if you're a kid right well or is it for adults it's for it's for what they call boomers is it just get an etch sketch if you want one. Oh, i had a rubik's cube i bought a rubik's cube not so long ago don't know where i put it um i don't know what i'm doing here you know what i think i think that's it i can't even work my phone anymore any any final shouts for people Nah, I think we've done it. Derek Smith, I've never found personal photos of any use. I have something far better. It's called memories. I, you know what? You're right, man. I, I don't do it anymore. A lot even photos. There's a story about that, but I'll leave it for another day. I think you're right. And what I found, well, what I found is when I look at an old album, like from when I was a kid and all that, as soon as I open the album, I can remember. Well, I, I can remember all the photos are anyway. So when I'm open and going through the album, it's no it's no real surprise. What's the point? What's the point? I agree with you. Anyway, on that uplifting note, uh, I'll end it there. One more plug, go fund me. I'm not gonna ask you to like and subscribe. If you can if you've got a spare couple of bucks, it'd be nice to appreciate because I'm on a really bloody tight budget at the moment. There's more explanation in the GoFundMe. It's not for much longer, but I'm gonna get there soon. But if you don't want to, thanks. But if you've lot if you just thank you for just watching, man. You know, that's 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 cool. Watching is cool. It, uh, it, it uh, keeps the stream going, makes it a lot of fun for me. Thanks to everyone who's, cop, uh, who's cop commented. That keeps me waffling on a bit longer and distracted, which is real cool. And uh, you know what?